Welcome back to Mornings on 2 at 746. Good news here in the United States is offset by some disappointing news overseas. Yes, Pam Cook joining us now yeah. with the details and Wall Street's response in today's dollars and cents. Yeah, Pam. quite a bit of news and response. This morning, Home Depot's quarterly earnings came in a little better than analysts expected. Sales were down, though, a bit as people are cutting back on those home improvement projects. Target, Walmart, and TJ Maxx are among the other big retailers reporting this week, so we'll keep an eye out for that. As the opening bell rang this morning, overall retail sales in the U.S. for July came in better than expected, but the major market indexes dropped as that bell rang on concerns about the global economy. That's after disappointing reports out of China on their retail sales and industrial production. As we take a live look at the New York Stock Exchange, it's been fluctuating quite a bit with the Dow Jones down a little, almost 300 points or so. Right now down three quarters of a percent, 267 points. The S&P 500 down three quarters of a percent. The Nasdaq also down about the same, uh, 117 points there. The company, company formerly known as Twitter is putting a new restriction on advertisers. They will no longer be allowed to promote their accounts on X's timeline, which is previously a way to attract new followers. Promoted accounts reportedly generate more than $100 million a year for X. They are one of the oldest ad formats offered on the platform, but they don't push users to any of the multimedia tools that X wants to use. Executives say X is encouraging advertisers to create campaigns that engage users. A Nevada-based tech company is now bringing technology used in many Hollywood blockbuster movies to your home computer. Motion capture is the process of recording the movement of objects or people using cutting-edge technology. It has been used in big-budget movies, including Avatar and Lord of the Rings. Movella, the company behind the technology, has developed a system that allows streamers to create the same effects on desktops and laptops. It uses belts attached to a person's body to capture their movements. Custom gloves that have like your fingertips exposed. We wanted to make sure that they can feel their fingertips so they don't get like when they're using their keyboard, they can feel the keys. Company executives say the system is designed to be used by people who know very little about technology. And restaurants and grocery stores are locked in a struggle over your food budget. A food as food becomes more expensive. Businesses are creating new ways to keep and retain customers. A report in the Wall Street Journal says grocery chains are making more prepared meals available as an alternative to dining out. The report also says chains are also putting new items on their menus that customers won't typically make at home. Federal data shows prices for groceries have increased 3.5% in the last year. During that same time, restaurant prices increased 7%. And just to note, if you are making plans to eat out, many restaurants I've noticed are donating some of their proceeds to the recovery efforts on Maui. So look for that. I'm Pam Cook. That's a look at your dollars and cents. All right, Pam. Thank you.